Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a HP Stream um, 11 Pro G4 EE. It does not start, it has no life at all. So, uh, the story is that this one was um, going to uh, a repair shop because it has uh, had warranty. It was sent, sent for a, a repair under warranty and uh, the deal with this one is that you can send it in once a year for repairs. That's the deal. Don't ask me why or how, but that's the deal. So it was sent to be repaired. It was repaired. Then it was sent back. And uh, the guy who has it used it for one week and then it died. And since they don't have any warranty left on it. I am going to take a look. So first, um, so these three and these two are the same length. They are longer than those two. Let's start by removing them. I mean, the odds are that something came loose because it has been taken apart, been taken apart. So, oh, I forgot there are more screws on this. Uh, where? Under these rubber feet, they are one screw there, one there. These are silver like. And when you open this up, you have to be somewhat careful because now we have taken all the screws uh, off. So now it's only plastic clips. That holds it together. Maybe I should show you that it doesn't start. Nothing. Completely dead. All right. I like to just bend a little bit. Okay, maybe. You know, you get you got to be careful, but at the same time, you have to undo these these clips. And since this have been taken apart before, I suspect it's 
a little bit easier to take apart now. Just work your way around. And be careful not to lift up the the keyboard and the mouse pad and you know the top the top end here too much because under here there are ribbon cables. Let's see if I can show you. Between here, there are ribbon cables, so you can't open too much. Let's see if we can find anything wrong with it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's see. I like to smell uh, things. No, I like to smell just. In case you can smell anything that's burnt, but uh, no, smells okay or yeah, like normal at least. Oh. We have something wrong. Can you see it? Right. I'm not sure you can see it, but here we have a ribbon cable. That's come loose. I'm not sure what it is for, but it's loose. Yeah, that's the cable. Let's see if we can find where it's supposed to go. Yeah, right there. It's not broken, it's just come loose. Uh, what way? I should have had some tweezers or something. All right, let's. Yeah, now it's in. Now the ribbon cables in. Let's hope that was the uh, the issue. Otherwise, I'm gonna disconnect all, all the ribbon cables and in inspect the uh, the motherboard. But uh, let's hope that was it. Nothing. Yes, I see a light. Nothing. Well, the light is on anyway. Yeah, there we go. It's not uh, touch screen. Yeah, so uh, today we were lucky, or uh, at least. Uh, the owner was lucky. So when you are going to put it back together, just lift it up and try to 
see that all the ribbon cables are connected like they should and they are folded like they should so they don't snap yeah. that looks okay so now I'm just gonna go around and before I put the screws in I'm gonna restart it yeah the lights are on so or it was on at least yeah Yeah, that's good. So now we can uh, put all the screws in and uh, all the silver ones went into the rubber feet. And the long ones in the back. And the two shorter ones are in the middle at the sides. Just gonna put a dab of super glue for the feet. Just a tiny, tiny drop, just so they don't. press for 10 seconds or 15 seconds or whatever it says on this glue here so hopefully you won't have any more problems with it probably just the uh, Poor reassembly from the uh, from the uh, warranty repair it had. No big deal. Well, actually, <laughs> it is a big deal. Well, now he has a computer again. That's good. All right. Thanks for watching. And if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. On this channel, we do just about everything and anything. So, yeah, please join us and have some fun. Alright, until next time, see ya!